If you have storm damage to your home, listen up. You're watching Fox 23 News at 6. I'm Shay Rossi. And I'm Sarah Whaley. Glad you're with us tonight. There are some changes you should know about if you're filing a claim with your insurance. Fox 23's Rick Marinon is live with why some people will not be reimbursed for their expenses. Rick. But it does cost money to remove limbs like this and even trees like that one behind me. But unless it went airborne into your house and actually caused damage, you may not see a dime. The key word is damage. Oklahoma Insurance Commissioner Glenn Mulready says while many have been inconvenienced and even paid out of pocket for things like food and tree trimming, the key to whether you'll be reimbursed is structural damage. The standard homeowner's policy covers debris removal like that but only if it damages property. So if it's on your house, if it's following your fence or an outbuilding, uh, that, that type thing. While trees may have sentimental value and you may have gone to a hotel to find air conditioning in the heat, Mulready warns insurance will likely only kick in if a tree has fallen on your home and caused actual structural damage. There is a difference between your home being uncomfortable versus being uninhabitable and damaged. If your home has been damaged and you're not able to live in that home, there is coverage under your uh, homeowner's policy for that. Uh, you know, kind of, it's called additional living expenses, due, you know, but it's due to a claim. If you just don't have power at your house and you want to stay somewhere else because you don't have AC, that's not a covered loss unless that that loss is to your home. Tuesday, Mulready signed an executive order temporarily waiving the requirements for claims adjusters to meet certain local requirements. This will allow out-of-state claims adjusters to come into Oklahoma and assist their Oklahoma colleagues because there are a lot of claims that need to be processed in multiple counties. My declaration of that allows the insurance companies to bring in adjusters from out of state that may not be licensed in Oklahoma but they're working in other states uh, to try to speed up that process. Mulready says the main thing is to document the damage. You don't have to leave it in place for your adjuster to see it for themselves, but you need to take a picture of the problem while it is still relatively fresh. Document, document, document. So take take the pictures as soon as you can. And most people are, are doing that if, if just for their own edification or to send uh, friends, look at what happened to us sort of, sort of uh, thing. You are legally entitled to have your claim taken care of in a reasonable amount of time. That is what the law requires. Now keep in mind, reasonable being a thing of scale, meaning they have a lot of claims to get to right now. If you have any problems with your insurance company or any questions about whether a tree like this should be covered, there is a hotline inside this story on fox23.com that links you to the insurance department to help you with any troubles you may have with your insurance department. Covering news that matters, I'm Rick Marin on Fox 23 News.